In this video, I will show you how to set up a PHP project using Smarty. I will walk you through the project setup, Smarty installation, and I will implement a simple web page using a Smarty template. We will look at the feature PHP tools offer for Smarty. I will show you how they work and what they can do. So let's get to it. PHP tools support the Smarty template engine since version 1.22 for Visual Studio 2015 in New York. First, let's create a PHP web project. Go to File, New Project, select the PHP section, and create a PHP web project. Select the preferred name, I chose Simple Page, and click OK. Now you have a basic PHP project prepared by PHP Tools. First, let's verify that everything is up and running. Start the page using Control plus F5. The web browser should now show you the Hello World page. Now we have a working environment. Next, we will install Smarty using the Composer package, which is the easiest way. Right-click References and select Install New Composer Packages. Search for Smarty and install the package Smarty slash Smarty with the most downloads. We start by creating a new Smarty object which will be used to set up and display all Smarty templates. Now, if we try opening the page again using F5 this time, PHP tools report an error that the Smarty class could not be found. This means that we are missing a reference to the Smarty class and we have to add it now. We insert the require command to PHP and try F5 again. Smarty is now ready and we can start using it. We continue with two simple Smarty methods. The first assigns a variable called name to be used in Smarty. The second displays a Smarty template. Now we have to create the Smarty template. Right click the simple page project and select add new item. In the left pane, pick PHP and select Smarty template and choose the required name. The template is now ready and open. Let's verify that everything is working by pressing Ctrl plus F5. First, let's make sure that the name is capitalized. You can see that PHP tools provide IntelliSense while typing. The Smarty editor lists all the available symbols, modifiers, and variables, and selects the symbol that is closest to the type text. Since Smarty is part of our project now, we can even inspect its source code. Let's place the cursor to capitalize and press F12, and PHP tools take us to the definition. Now, let's add a Smarty loop and print more names. We will now add a for loop. With PHP tools, you can just insert an open tag, and by pressing tab, the Smarty editor completes the close tag and loop parameters. We replace the start and end parameters with the numbers 1 and 10, and create a body for the loop. Now, let's review our page by pressing Ctrl plus F5. The page looks fine, but we can enhance our template by a custom modifier. Let's open index.php and create a custom modifier. We create a function called smarty underscore modifier underscore foo. The prefix is necessary because smarty would otherwise not recognize it as a modifier. Our modifier will simply add a surname to the name. We add the filter to our template and IntelliSense shows us our filter in the list. We can use F12 to navigate to its source code. Now, when we load the page, we can see a page with multiple Homer Simpsons. PHP tools support a navigation for built-in modifiers and user-defined modifiers and variables. Now you know how to set up Smarty, create a template, all while doing it comfortably within your favorite Visual Studio IDE and PHP tools extension.